Hey, baby. Hey. Hey, can you hear me? All right. Hey, listen. So, uh, I got your number from a friend of mine, and I thought I might call you. In... What? 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 A message? I don't know. Text? No. I'm. D hey, baby. I'm just asking to see if we can go to the movies. Uh, what? The hell you mean I'm a creeper? I should message first. What is a message? No, no, baby. I'm. D Hello. Hello. It ain't like it used to be. That's for damn sure. I know the score. Like the back of my hand. Them with the boys. I don't give a damn. The kiss on the ring. I carry the crown. Nothing could break. Nothing could break me down. Don't need no advice. I got a plan. She liked your profile. She liked your bio. She swiped right. Balls in your court. In most cases. I'm not going to lie. Some women are stepping up, finally, and they are making the first introduction. But I'm not going to lie. They're making the same mistake that most of you guys are making. And the fact of the matter is, the mistake is simply, hi, hey, beautiful, hey, handsome, vice versa. Guys, the number one thing that you need to stop communicating as your first is, hey, beautiful, hey, sexy, uh-uh. They have seen that 20 to 40 times a day, and you are not standing out whatsoever. Start out with something funny. Start out with something that is something completely different. Actually read their bio and pick something out of that bio and use that. Um, not too long ago, what did I pick out one? Somebody had said something about they like to fish. Okay, so when I went in, the very first thing is, hey, how are you? I also like to fish. Do you prefer salt water or fresh water? Something that shows that you went an extra step into actually being interested in this person. You want to start out with something funny. You want to start out with something personable. But you got to get rid of the simple and the common, hey, beautiful, hey, sexy, blah, 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 blah. They've heard it all. Grab something in the picture, not them, something in the background that strikes um, attention and pull it in. Use that as an example, okay? But this is the first step that you guys have got to have when going into the communication. We have horrible communication amongst men and women. What we expect and what they expect, two different things. So we need to get on the same level in this, and this is where we're going to start. The introduction. Again, go with something funny, something that stands out, such as, okay, another example. Um... A while back that I had actually hit up somebody who's extremely attractive. Uh, she even admitted that she gets right around 30 to 40 a day. And uh, I had asked her, I said, well, what was it that made you made me stand out? And on that particular day, I was actually going to a flea market and we matched. And uh, so I had posted up, I said, my, and my intro in this one to her was, hey, how are you doing? Uh, personally, I'm headed over to the flea market. What kind of preferences and scents do you like? You know, black cherry, chaps, whatever. I'm not even sure what I had put. And I don't know if it was just coincidence or what, but for this one particular one, she was very much into fragrances. So it right off the bat, boom, it grabbed her attention. It was something different. And that's what she had told me that stood out is because I was real. That was what she had actually mentioned to me. All right, guys, so you need to make it personal. Get rid of this beautiful, hi, how are you, sexy, uh, I want to do you. This is just crap, guys. Make it real. Be reasonable. And uh, just let's put it on a personal level. All right, so that's number one. Oh, okay. Here, here's the reality, and this is amazes me. Guys, first of all, stop with the fucking dick pics, okay? This is ridiculous. There has been no chance of anyone ever saying, hell yeah, that shit looks good. Let me get a piece of that. It's not going to work. I don't care if you swipe right and you swipe right and then swipe right. And then finally on that 10th or 12th or 15th or 20th time, she swiped right with you. And then suddenly you throw out the dick pic. Again, I've talked to so many women. Listen, guys, I'm going to tell you reality. Guess what? Our penises are fucking ugly. Okay, that shit ain't even good looking. 
There's not a woman that said, look at that yummy, 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 scrumptious looking thing. Nobody out there has ever said that. Guys, stop with the dick pics. All right? Three coming at you. Oh. They're, they're interested in you. You're interested in them. So you want them to believe. Then, about the fifth or sixth text in, you suddenly go from, how are you? I like to do this. I enjoy this as a hobby. Can we wrap each other up in saran wrap? What? The, what? Will you dominate me? We've known each other 15 minutes. How in the hell, in the chemicals running between your ears, you think that shit is going to work? It doesn't even make sense. Will you dominate me? Will you slap my ass? Think about this. Let, let's go for a scenario. Okay, let me, let me, let me just, I wish I had a phone here. Let me, t -t -t imaginary phone. Yes. Uh-huh. I like fishing. Oh, me too. What's the biggest fish you ever caught? Oh, a 14-pound bass. Oh, that's a pretty good-sized bass. Yes, uh-huh. Would you like to slap my ass? Because it rhymed? What the fuck made you think that? That doesn't even make sense. Guys, seriously, keep sex out of it. Second, and, and even if. Let's say for instance, she went for it. Let's say for instance, she went for it. What are you looking for? Because if that's what you're looking for, cool. You should have put that on your profile, but you didn't. And secondly, if that's not what you're looking for, do you really want the woman that liked the bass and ass in the same sentence? That's probably not what you're looking for. Everybody else has already had that, so you probably don't, right? Chlamydia, that shit is a bitch. Herpes, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Do you want some of that? Uh-uh, guys, let's go to number four. Guys, number four. Now, this guy, and this is an example of what I don't want you to be, is a guy that texts and they hit up and they start to get a little chemistry going and then you disappear for a couple days. And I'm going to tell you right now, I know why you disappeared because somebody else you were a little bit more interested in gave you a little more attention and you put that attention over there. We got that. I mean, come on, guys. We know this. This game is not new. All right. But the women understand this, and they know this as well, and they're not going to accept this. Say this. First of all, focus on one or two. I know if you spread the net out, you can catch more fish. Focus on one or two because you cannot give complete focus, complete attention to just one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not going to happen. You're going to forget what you say. Let me give you a perfect example of this. Check this out. This guy right here hit up a very good friend of mine, Jessica, and basically gave her a line. And check out this line, for instance. You know, it's talking about pleasure and having a good time, right? And she, she he asked, what what can I do? And, and she responded with, a, well, uh, how about buying a house? You know, let's, let's, let's get some money. You know, and she's fucking with him. Okay, there's nothing here that's just like, she's not serious. The guy disappeared for a couple days. And guess what he came back with? The exact same line. Guys, if you start talking to multiple women, you're going to forget what you even say. And as sure as hell, whenever you come back to them, and there's a term for that. It's a new term, to be honest with you. It's called zombie. Yes, I'm telling you, the dating world is changing as fast as the English language. Words meant today do not mean the same as yesterday. So you come back, zombie, six, seven days later, you forgot what you even said. Go ahead and scroll that shit up just to make sure that you're not repeating yourself. You're that fucking lazy that you would actually say the same thing. So with that said, guys, you need to pay attention. Focus on one or two. And I know, and here's the ultimate thing. What are you looking for? I mean, you have to first ask that. You have to ask what you are looking for. If you are legitimately that guy, that wants to find the special someone, we can do that. That's the guy I really want to talk to. I do not want to talk to the douchebag. Now, don't get me wrong. I want his likes and I want his subscribes because he's going to learn shit too. But he's got his game and he's not going to want to listen as well. I want to help the guy that wants to truly learn. And there's a lot of you guys that need a lot of help. All right. And that's really, really where this channel started. Okay. So with that said, guys, 
you know, find one or two and let's focus on them. All right. And I'm going to come back with now the next thing when it comes time for texting. And it's a big one. Here we go. All right, guys. So we've got our attention and we're going to start a t uh, our, our, our communication. Now, here's the deal. And I hear this so often. And to be honest with you, again, guys, I'm a part of a massive group, 9,500 people in climbing a day. We sign up right around 40 to 80 new single people a day here in Houston. That's unheard of for any other. And this is not a non, this is a nonprofit uh, group. It's the fourth largest city. And I'm going to tell you, I talked to so many. Now, here's the deal. And I, I did a post not too long ago, and I got blasted for this post from the guys. But I will tell you, hundreds of women said, please, guys, listen to him. Please. But the guys got blast, uh, that blasted me, it's them that's the issue. So here's the deal. And I know for a fact, I'm going to get blasted the entire time of this channel. I mean, there's going to be haters. There's going to be people that need to focus on themselves that are just that way. But I'm going to tell you right now. I hear so much that the guy is complaining that all she wants is the bad boy. All she wants is the criminal. She wants the guy that doesn't have a job. She wants the guy that owes money. She doesn't want a good guy. <sighs> Let me tell you the reality of this. No, she doesn't. She wants the guy with the job, which is probably you. She wants the good guy that's dependable, which is probably you. She wants the guy that she can love and build a future with, which is you. The problem with the people that have those characteristics usually are pussies. The guy that doesn't care. The guy that doesn't have a job. Guess why? Because he doesn't give a shit. The guy that is a, a criminal. Guess why? Because he doesn't give a shit. He gives that badass persona. The women want the lovable, trustworthy guy with money, the one that has a work, and I don't mean money as far as they got to be rich. They want the one that's dependable, that has the job. But if you can own that, which you probably already have, but build your bad boy character, you're in. You're 99% wanted by all women. I'm going to tell you that right now. And you need to put that into your text and into your conversations. That is need to be your goal now. You can show some sweet signs. Talk to people that I've talked to and they will tell you, especially in text and messages. But every so often, guess what I do? I throw the bad boy in there. No, 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 no. I run this conversation. We're not going there. Okay? That's what we end up talking about. Uh, and I'm sincere, and sincere. I'm empathetic. But I own me. There's nobody that's going to run me. And you need to remember that whenever you go through these messages. Don't be that pussy with the black cloud over you talking about women don't want me. Women, they don't want a pussy. They want you. But they want you to man up. And that's what we're here for. It's time to fucking man up, people. I know the score. Like the back of my hand. Them with the boys. It comes to bio, or I'm sorry, profiles. The reset. All right, guys. Number two, when it comes to profile, and leave it. I'll be back. Da da da. Give me something. <laughs> Give me something. And I got nothing. Don't give it down. Kiss on the ring. Carry the crown. Nothing could break. Nothing could break me down. Don't need no advice. I got a plan.